How do you study environmental science if you're not out in the environment? The William Scandling is a 65-foot research vessel that allows Hobart and William Smith students to study the physiological, chemical, biological, and geological properties of our very own Seneca Lake. We're really lucky in that we're one of the only undergrad institutions across the country that allows you know, students to go out on a research boat like that. Usually it's just graduate students and PhD students. For me, it's all about hands-on research. I love getting out of the classroom and going out in the field and getting that first-hand experience that you don't get sitting behind a desk or even sitting in a lab, really. It's just something you don't get in other parts of the country. You know, my academic advisor is Professor Halfman, and you see him walking around campus, you're not going to forget him. He really is a well of knowledge and I found that that really pertains to a lot of the professors and you go and sit down and talk with them in their offices they are all extremely helpful and extremely welcoming and they will guide you as long as you go and seek them. I'm back at HWS um, for a fifth year and I'm getting my master's in teaching. The idea of community service is often seen as an extracurricular activity. But here at HWS, our approach is true to our name, service learning. Becoming engaged with the community is just part of who we are. I'm really excited next year I'm going to be doing Teach for America and I'm going to be heading back to New Orleans um, to work as a core member there. I found that by going out into the community, I gained so much more because I learned about new people. I made connections with people I might not have previously. And one of the greatest things I'll be leaving HWS with is kind of getting to know and value the sense of community that a place can offer. And I think the strongest reason for that is because of the service that I've learned. So I know that regardless of whether or not I'm going back home or I'm going to someplace I've never been, I can kind of learn how to delve into the community and become a part of it. Um, and those are Argentina. The total plane trip was about 22 hours. We were supposed to sleep on the plane and obviously we slept for like 30 minutes maybe. Over the Andes Mountains to Argentina. And then Hong Kong to Vietnam. And seeing the plane got down to the bottom of the continent of Africa was actually really surreal. And it was completely terrifying. Very nervous. The like time slows crying my eyes out because I was so scared to go to this strange place for six months. There was so much excitement that I didn't really have time to be nervous about it. I was just like ready to get there. We did a lot of stuff and we went, did a lot of touristy things and we did a lot of local things. And When we were in the Mekong Delta, we ate field mouse. I played lacrosse in Ireland for the National University of Ireland at Galway. In Hanoi, we had a seven course snake meal. Stuck in traffic, uh, out of this van in front of me, suddenly two goats jump out. Pig's blood soup. I had pig's blood soup. Just standing on that top of the mountain and looking all around you, and you're in Patagonia, Argentina. Unreal. So wildly out of my element. Being in a different country away from your home with 20 other Americans, it's like you're, they become your family. I woke up in the morning and realized that I was happy to be where I was. You just don't know if when else in your life are you going to get to go back somewhere like that? Listen, if I can be put into an atmosphere where I can't communicate with anybody and still be able to cope, then I feel like I can communicate with anyone here. The abroad experience of life is probably the best experience of my life, and to have to say goodbye to that part of my life was the hardest part, I think. We have programs all over the country to give them more insight into various career fields and give them a leg up on the competition. Our newest program is in Los Angeles and students have had a great opportunity to go out there and network with alums. I owe the school a, a, uh, a debt of gratitude in terms of what I got from it in terms of education and I really feel that it's, you know, it's, a, it's a privilege for me to be able to help students. Whatever I've seen at Hobart Lane Smith, 
um, the school on a resume. I mean, I would interview someone. It's a small school. There's a sense of community, a sense of family, a shared experience. Really special. When you come from a school that's a lot smaller and more intimate, you just, it is more of a family feeling and you, and you do want to help more. You, you see these people around, professors still remember your names, you know, 20, 30 years out. You're going to have the, you know, the background and the, uh, the wherewithal uh, to hold your own against, you know, in this market, this is, you know, this is LA, to, to hold your own against um, students who are coming from much larger, you know, more metropolitan colleges and universities. Hobart and William Smith reached out and I think they stirred something in me that made me feel it was time to get back connected to the colleges. Cheers. Put those pads on and just jump right in it. I love everything about hockey. I love to skate. I love the physicality of it. I just, it's a good way to get my frustrations out. I just skate. <laughs> Playing on a club team is a lot less stressful than varsity. It's more relaxed. Everyone um, is just so friendly, laid back, and it's not so overwhelming that I can't do homework and still hang out with my friends and have a normal college experience at the same time. Since everyone was interested in the same thing, it was really easy for us to just build a really tight relationship from there. And the same goes for all the different groups and clubs on campus. There's equestrian, rugby, alpine skiing, arts collective, debate, fraternities, dance, you know, pretty much anything you can think of. Overall, it's really enhanced my college experience. I chose Hobart and William Smith because of the hands-on experiences and the interdisciplinary education. The campus commitment to community service. I chose HWS because of friendly students and a beautiful campus. The diverse and international student body. I chose HWS because of the hill, the quad, and the lake. The opportunity to study abroad in Russia, Italy, South Africa, Senegal. 45 majors and 65 minors, but only one Mark Guerin. Championship caliber athletics and clubs and intramurals open to everyone. You know, I chose HWS because, you know, it really allowed me to be who I am as a person. Because Geneva, New York feels like home. 